In this video, we're going to go over how to animate with AI using prompt traveling to make something like this. So before we get started, of course, if you would please like, subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz, that would be sweet. So now let's dive into it. First thing that you're going to need to do is install the prompt travel extension. So we're going to go to extensions, go to available, load from, and then in here, just go ahead and type in prompt travel and you'll find prompt travel animation and you'll go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, it's always good to apply settings and reload the UI and it should be there. If it's not, just go ahead and restart. So what we're going to do is prompt travel works in um, image to image and text to image. But for this example, I'm going to use image to image because that's what I prefer. And I'm using the Vlad version of Stable Fusion and not the automatic 1111, but they work the same. So I am going to grab this and we're going to use the Mona Lisa as a starting point. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab the prompts that I used for this and we're going to put them here and I'll explain what's going on in a second and then make sure we grab our negative prompts as well. So when we scroll down, you're going to go to script and you're going to go to prompt to travel. Generally, I find that as it comes as is with linear lerp and fixed that that works the best, but I will show you examples of what the majority of the other ones do if they even work. So basically how prompt travel works is you put in one line comma and you do a carriage return or enter and then you do the next line and it will continue to do that. So between each Italian woman, let's go woman, Celtic, etc. You just want to make sure that you have, this is the steps between those stages 30. So we'll have 30 steps, the more steps, obviously the longer between each stage and the less steps, the shorter. And then the only other variable you really need to play with is the video frames per second, depending on how smooth you want it to be. So now we're going to, I'm going to show you what those. So first we have linear lerp fixed and linear slurp fixed. Really the only difference between these two is that slurp from what I can see adds in more details in the smaller things when it comes to like necklaces or bracelets or anything like that. Otherwise they're basically the same. And then when we get into using the successive mode with lerp, honestly, it, we get more contrast and more saturation at 0.5 and at strength one it's just not even close to the image but the colors are better so i'm not sure what use this is and then when we get to the slurp portion of it it's basically the same problems it's just going to pay attention to those details a little more and that's honestly about it if you know of a difference that i don't recognize let me know that would be awesome and then when it comes to text to image, linear, lerp, and slurp fix, they're basically the same. Slurp has better details and lighting and all depth. And other than that, they're basically the same. And when it comes to the other options, there's not any discernible difference between them. And then when it comes to using the replace part right here, and we have the token and channel with random and the, you know, the different orders. And then the embryo here, I have no idea what they do. I tried using them. It just gave me, I started with the Italian version of Mona Lisa that I went a little bit into the Inuit version and then it just stopped. I really don't know what they do. And if you want to look at the, the data for where this all lives, I'll leave a link in below where you can go look at the repo here just to see like it maybe you know, can figure out what they do. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, again, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we go over some other techniques. Have a great day.